to Marina's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make some Sicilian creams. They are uh, little biscuits and they filled up with cream. They're very easy to make. So I'll go right ahead. This is one and three quarter cup of self-raising flour. And I've got half, three quarter cup of, no, it's half a cup of caster sugar. I'll just put that in. And then we're going to add 60 gram of butter or margarine, whatever you choose to use. And we're just going to mix that through to fi like fine breadcrumbs. I'm just going to mix it through. I'll use my hands for it because it's much better to do that. I'm just going to rub it through to be like very fine breadcrumbs. Okay, so, and I've got some uh, lemon rind. We're going to put some lemon rind, a teaspoon of lemon rind in there. That gives it a little bit of flavour to the pastry. And we've got an egg. And uh, I've got a quarter cup of milk that I'm mixing it up with the egg. And uh, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla to that mixture. Now we're going to add this to this... Uh, Crumb mixture here slowly. Okay. There we go. Put it all together. This is only going to make a very soft dough. We don't want it hard, or it just has to be enough that I can work with it. Let's use my hands for it. That's how it's got to be. It's got to be really nice and soft. If it is too soft, I can just add a little bit of uh, uh, flour to it, which I think I will. That, that looks really good. It's just got to be nice and get together, just nice soft dough. That's just what how I want it. I've already started to make another lot for you, to, so I've cooked them. I just want to show you how they are when I assemble them together. That is what, that's how I want it, a very nice, soft, pliable dough. Okay, so what I've got here, I've got one prepared in the meantime. I'll just take this off my hands. Now what it will be, it will look like this, well I'm going to roll it out, we roll it out to about half an inch thickness, that's how thick I want it, because these have got to be cut in halves when they cooked. I've got my oven on to 180 degrees and uh, they'll only need about, they'll only need about 15 to 20 minutes to cook and I've got a little cutter here. You can either have a round one, or I've got a little flour one here. And just cut them like that in shapes. There you go. This has got to be at least that thickness, because that has to be cut in halves. They're like, it's nearly half an inch thick. And so I'll just keep on doing that and you bake them into the 180 degrees oven and then just until they lightly brown on top and about 15-20 minutes that's all you need and just go ahead and do that I'll show you I'll show you now how the finished product is because then I'll tell you what to do okay I'll show you what to do when they've cooked this is the finished product of it but anyhow they come out like this and you've got to have a serrated knife and you just slide it and cut it in halves, okay? So then after I've got, what I've got here, I've got some uh, a syrup from tin fruit. So I like to brush it with the syrup. Then we put the cream on. And we put that on top. What I do after is I dust them with some icing sugar. Now these can be made beforehand. Uh, I made these for a, a morning tea for a cancer, a cancer morning tea and what can be done, they can be uh, cut up 
but then they can be frozen. You can put it in the deep freeze and then when you're ready to use them, you just take them out uh, and brush them with the fruit, uh, the syrup and put the cream in the middle and they'll just deep, just as nice. So you can prepare them beforehand and they make a lovely morning tea uh, sweet. Thank you for watching. I hope you like them.